Hello, my name is Helmut Flash, and I'm going to talk to you about a constant question and that is, well, how long should it take till my marketing starts working? Here's my answer. I don't know. It doesn't really matter because you just got to market, all right? And the worst thing there is to put stipulations of how long things should take, how much things should cost uh, in the first place. And that's with everything in life. Imagine having a marriage, getting into a marriage and saying, well, I will give my spouse three months, one year, six weeks, whatever it may be, until she, so to say, synchronizes with me and until uh, this is going well. It simply wouldn't work. And people who do that will get divorced uh, and that's just all there is to it. There's something there already not right, something fundamentally already not right, some type of non-belief is already there if you operate like that. So you go and market 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 and then you market some more. Now. Does that mean you should just stupidly market one particular thing and not look at everything which is out there and move a little bit around with different? Yes, absolutely. You've got to read books and internets on marketing and there are whole loads of things. And most importantly, you've got to use marketing which costs little or no money to you. And you go, well, there is nothing out there. All the flyers, the coupons, the letters, the thing, it costs shitloads of money. Don't use them so much. There are ways of jumping on a train where somebody else pays for your marketing. Yes, there is. There's all kinds of activities like that out there. You've got to get the community involved. Now, that means you might have to learn and study a little bit about it. Um, and that's kind of like how it goes. Let me tell you a small little story. When I started my business in 1991, this particular consulting business, my wife, I went to her and so we started this business and about three, four, maybe five, six months later, I still haven't made any money. We lived in a little $400 bedroom apartment in an area uh, where we didn't quite want to live, but we're relatively happy with it. Neighbor were beautiful, but you know, some of our friends told my wife and me that we're living below our dignity and all those things, all this baloney. And about a six months, seven months later, um, friends kept telling my wife and said, you better tell your husband to go and get a job. This is unethical what he does. You have to go and play piano and she does all some other teaching with, uh, with children and stuff to put food on the table. And she just said, no, he will make it, don't worry. Soon I almost started caving in and I said, honey, if in three months I'm not going to make money, I'm going to get a job. And her answer was, no, sweetie. All you're going to do is keep going. You will make it. 19 years later, yes, we made it a lot. Now, that is called not putting, putting any preconceived activity on what things should, uh, uh, how long things should be taking. I hope you got it, because that's what it takes. Just keep doing and keep finding the best way. Don't run your head against the wall with one particular thing. Persistence doesn't mean doing everything the same way. Persistence means keep doing it, but keep exploring all the wonderful things. And don't keep asking yourself, will it work? Just keep doing them. All right. Go and do them.